welcome to this episode of Conversations 101. I'm Deb Kirkby. Our guest today is Chrissy Kolarik, a local actress with a growing list of credits, including the title role in The Curse of Lilith Ratchet. Recently, she's added two new roles to her credits, that of writer and director for her new film, Granny Panties. Here's a clip of the film. I love cats. Do you have one? No. I'm allergic. Me too. Chrissy, welcome to Conversations 101. Thank you for having me. We're glad to have you. Tell me a little bit about what inspired Granny Panties. Granny Panties um, was inspired by um, local actresses that I work with on a, on a regular basis that were never featured um, because of their size, their age, uh, maybe mm -hmm. their appearance. They were often overlooked despite their talent. Um, so I wanted to write, uh, write a story that um, really was able to um, encompass the talent that was here and overlooked. Oh, that's great. Um, everyone looks a good story from the set. Uh, anything interesting that happened during the filming of Granny Panties? Yes, the location that we were in actually double booked um, us plus another event. Um, and they let the other event know that we were going to be there, but not everyone got the message. And it turns out the other event was a drag queen show. So halfway through filming, um, we had um, a bunch of drag queens show up. Um, and they were a little bit angry that we were, they were unable to perform and do their show. Um, so I came in actually and let them know what we were doing, and I apologized that there was an over the, the venue had overlooked um, their 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 event. Um, we ended up making friends with the drag queens, and they stayed in, and watched us film for a little bit. In addition to starring in Granny Panties, you were also the director. Could you tell me about the challenges involved in, in taking on two very different roles in the, the film? Yes, I was both director as well as um, a supporting actor in the film which is challenging when you're in front of the camera. Um, I had a really strong first AD that would direct when I was on camera, and then I would um, switch roles when I was not on camera. Um, it was a little bit stressful, but for the most part, I think having a really strong crew and strong team made the difference. Um, let's talk about your early career, uh, both in film and before you got involved in film. How did that help shape this picture? Um, I was a late bloomer coming to acting. Um, I, gosh, I just started maybe eight or nine years ago. I didn't even know I was interested in acting. Um, so I did start in front of the camera. Um, I saw an, an ad looking for tall people for a movie, and being six foot one, it seemed obvious that I would be perfect for that role. Um, I went to an audition. I met several people there. They encouraged me to come to other auditions, um, and I ended up falling in love with the whole process. Um, eventually, I took acting classes, and during that class, um, someone uh, the, the instructor actually said I should maybe possibly start writing because he enjoyed my improv. And at that point, I started writing screenplays, and those were um, fairly popular. I've won, I've won two screenplay contests, um, and that kind of evolved. And then I started going behind the camera. I started casting. Um, so it really has just become an, it's a, an interesting evolution um, from in front of the camera to the behind the camera. What about before you got into acting? What were you doing then? Um, I have a colorful resume. Um, prior to acting, um, I'm actually a licensed mental health therapist. So that I... must help with actors. It actually does. It helps with actors. It also helps being an actor, um, especially for roles that require mental illness. So I have, I have a lot of background working with those that have those types of challenges um, and characteristics. Um, I also owned a bowling alley, which we'll talk a little bit about with Granny Panties and the venue there. Um, I've also owned a few other businesses, a little bit entrepreneurial. Um, currently, I'm working with um, a Chamber of Commerce as a director, um, and I'm, gosh, I'm always open to new opportunities. Um, what do you hope that people can take away from watching Granny Panties? Are there any messages that you want people to uh, keep with them? Um, well, Granny Panties um, is a film about middle-aged women that have very mundane lives, um, and they also have had struggles with relationships or self-esteem. Um, in the process of the film, the characters end up accidentally stumbling into the secret world of panty selling. 
which is not the little tiny granny, little tiny panties, but the giant granny panties. They have a niche market. But what happens is that they, with the help of some of their um, friends, one of which has a shoe fetish and a lot of other interesting online um, skills, as well as a washed up stripper who has an army of other washed up strippers that can supply them with a, a plethora of granny panties, evolve this into a business and become very successful. Um, and they have a positive body image by the end of the, end of the, of the film. They have um, a whole new perspective on life. Um, happiness is the bottom line, is the tagline for the, for the film. Um, when was the final cut of the film going to be available? When and where can people see it? Well, I did um, share a, a rough cut um, last week at an event, or last month at an event. Um, I'm hoping that the film would be available um, by the beginning of next year. We'll do um, a screening. I'm probably going to partner with another filmmaker or two that also have short films that they want to show. So we would have sort of a little montage, possibly, of comedies or something to that effect. So hopefully coming up at the beginning of the year, I'll be able to promote it. Do you uh, plan to uh, put it on video or YouTube, something like that? I'm going to be doing the festival circuit first. Mm -hmm. So I'll be sharing those. Um, with, I'll be sending out to multiple festivals. And then hopes once the festival circuit is done, then I'll post it online. Oh, oh great. Uh, well, that's about all the time that we have. So I want to thank you for joining us and talking about Granny Panties. And thank you for watching our show. This is Deb Kirkby for Conversations 101. Be sure to catch up on us on Facebook and be sure to tune in to following episodes. Thanks for watching.